All right, so we're back with the only game that teaches us why drinking and game development is a fantastic combination. It's impeached. This is also the only game that allows you to delete the entire sky. So I love it. We're back with the United Republic of the People's Territory of States to ruin more lives by enacting stupid bills. However, since the entire country is people that think like I do, they keep loving everything I choose. Thus, we are stuck with a conundrum. Whether to make it so that everyone can only see in grayscale, or to make it so that hot dogs are now considered sandwiches. I love hot dogs and I love sandwiches, and I'm sure there's some hot dog that identifies as a sandwich, so this sounds like a fantastic bill to pass. Now, if you were to draw a hot dog sandwich, I never really thought about it, but it is possible that there's hot dogs that don't want to be called sandwiches too bad. If I've taken the rights away from the people to enjoy this guy, I can take the rights away from hot dogs. And now for my favorite part of the game, the who failed their drug test phase. Yes, sir, the sausage that looks like it has jaundice. Please ask your question. When were they not a sandwich? We need more people like you or yesterday. As much as this sounds like a cop-out answer, it is true. Yes to the madam that has pudding for hair. What is your question? How will this affect where we buy our hot dogs? Two words, subway foot long hot dog or nom nom nom. I feel like any president that answers questions with chewing sounds is doing a fantastic job. Everyone else doesn't seem to think so though, you ungrateful bastards. I love that this guy is positioned behind a head so perfectly that for a while I couldn't tell if he was clothed or not. If you came to this press conference naked, you would absolutely get picked. Yes, sir. When will we be able to purchase sliced hot dog meat at the deli? It's called baloney. Arrest that man! <laughs> you think you could come in here and think for yourself? Boosh! He did get arrested! What about ballpark Frank's Frank witches? Who's Frank? I clearly don't know what copyrighted hot dog you're talking about. But why, next question, your fake news? Every time I play a news game and I make fake news, I get killed. How come I can't assassinate this woman? Ah, the daily rag, hot dogs, now sandwiches, president for kids of hell, Frank. If his name was Chad, I would have remembered him. Pizza must be made with pineapple. Pop-tarts are now classified as ravioli. I've been wanting to pick this one, but it keeps getting paired with something more impressive. I love pop tarts and meat sauce. God damn it, I wanted to write your mom as the signature, but all I ended up doing was making what looks like a snake running away from a bunch of mountains toward a football goalpost. Do I eat them for breakfast or dinner? I like how it's either always or special occasions. I feel like Wilford Brimley would hate me for this, but we're picking always. Sorry for the diabetes that I just spread across. The world is fine with it. I just jacked up the entire planet's blood sugar and everyone was okay. I never thought I would deal with overpopulation in such a fantastic way. How do I cook them fast and slow? <laughs> However you want, Tim. <laughs> it has to be this. What you want to do is you want to take your Pop-Tart and you want to shove it into the toaster. And then when the toaster's like, what the hell do you do? That's when you kind of ease it down. What do you make of the outrage in the Italian communities? Just wait to port them to Canada. I want y'all to know I'm picking this answer clearly. But if I pick this answer and the world's opinion goes down, it's Canada's fault. Son of a bitch. Can I claim them on my taxes? Absolutely not. I need all the taxes I can get. Yes, give them to me. Taxes are now ravioli. If you listen closely, you can feel the moment the drugs kicked in when they made this game. Why does the world opinion hate that? I just abolished taxes and made them a, a pasta. How will this affect toaster strudels? That's for, that's for the high class, okay? We do pop tarts here. They're losers and liars, still delicious. Don't you ever trust a toaster strudel. They'll impregnate your daughter and steal the car late at night. See, everyone was okay with that. Well, at least our, our income was okay. Italian communities, much happier in Canada. I knew they would be. People can only eat the brown part of the banana or extra screening on Canadians to prevent syrup smuggling. What are they doing with this syrup? Snorting it? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna draw a Canadian. Now you may be saying to yourself, but Gray, 
That looks like a deflated orange. No, it's just Canadians often have very strong chins. Now you got your, your snorty stick here. This is supposed to be a bottle of syrup with like a pancake on the front. It came out looking like a salt shaker that was drawn by someone riding a washing machine. I can't wait for these questions. The Canadians have threatened to send moose after us if implemented. How will you address this border security? Moose are not a threat. Police bears! You know what? If Russia can do it, why can't we? If Canadians are so nice, how can we identify the smugglers? They have enlarged foreheads or they've been dealt with. I had the wrong idea. I made their chins large, but it's actually their foreheads apparently. But sir, I have Canadian relatives. They are not capable of smuggling syrup. Oh, John, you are too trusting. Remove this man immediately. I find your lack of Canada smuggling disturbing. Get the hell out of my courtroom. Press room? It's probably a press room, but I feel like I'm being charged with something at this point with everything I've passed. The NSA leaked information about potential syrup being smuggled over the border in hockey pucks. Is this true? It has to be. George, that is fake news. Bullshit. <gasps> this is the most real news I've ever heard in my life. Launch FBI investigation. If we catch a Canadian smuggling syrup, how should we handle their polar bear? The same way we handle everything else. Have you forgotten about the Second Amendment? The Second Amendment is gonna be every amendment because this is the answer to everything in this game. I do like give them a Coca-Cola, but the last thing I want is to have to deal with a diabetic polar bear. Our health benefits are strained as they are. Second Amendment. Police bears cut rate of syrup smuggling in half. I made the right choice. Everyone can only see in grayscale. Seen that one before. People who say pupper and doggo now classified terrorists. What? What is this? I, I have to know what the questions are for this. I need to pass this bill for no other purpose than to answer the questions that inevitably come afterward. Oh, lords of cocaine. Grant unto me your worst questions. <laughs> this is the only way I can sign this bill. Everyone, I'm so glad that you're here today. I can only hope that you're all both drunk and high. Yes, madam. Do you have anything to say to the fans of the that meme? I mean, no harm. <laughs> it's the worst. The Oval Office doesn't have enough puns. Are any other words soon to be classified the same way? My people will tell me, do you know any? Perhaps, yeet. How could you? Lots of people love saying doggo security. <laughs> Skip the final warning. I don't like to leave people in suspense. I'd rather have them getting beaten with beady sticks. Would you say there is many danger here? Potentially much scared. Is that even English very wow? <laughs> Everyone was okay with that. Will there be specific punishment for the use of these words? English classes, severe scolding from Generation X. I'm surprised that we've killed people for less, but maybe English classes are just as bad. Offenders sent back to English class. No more doggos for them. At this point, I've realized that some of the questions are worse than the bill. I need to know. Now when your pizza gets pineapple, it becomes very sad. This may look like a pizza that's wiping its eyes with strips of bacon, but it's supposed to be tears. These are, these are pepper. God damn it, it's really hard to draw a pizza while I can't leave the friggin' mat here. We love you, Mr. President. Shh, not now, Steve. And I love pineapples, hipster reporter. <laughs> I'll get you a Pabst Blue Ribbon after the show. Did you know Iceland once threatened to ban pineapple on pizza? Not a real country! Is the pineapple a topping or does the pizza need to be made from pineapple? Crust sauce, everything has pizza is pineapple, what? Everyone loves it! A piece of pineapple fell off my pizza, landing on the floor. Do I still have to eat it? Love every bite, disrespect, put him in jail. How are there any reporters left? Everyone either gets thrown in jail, gets security called on them, is immediately killed, or gets put back into English classes. What are your thoughts on the nationwide pineapple protests? I didn't know this was happening. Did this just start when we went over, like when we started this debate? They can build my wall. They will get tired soon. I have to pick this. The world did not like it, of course. World <gasps> shock to discover Iceland, not a real country. Spaghetti can only be eaten on Wednesdays. Baseball shall be played with tasers. I think we all know 
What's getting chosen here? Don't you lie to me, if Taser Baseball was a sport on TV, you would all watch it. This is the only thing I have to say about this new sport. Yes, everyone, behold my brilliance. What do you have for me, good sir? Will the ball also be a taser? Hard yes, your face will be a taser. The answer is yes, but I'm picking this just because I can. Everyone's okay with that. What voltage will the tasers be set to? We pick while blindfolded, deadly. I'm fixing overpopulation and the budget in one shot now. Won't baseball still be boring? Not while people are riding the lightning. Huge improvement. Isn't this a little cruel? <laughs> yes, baseball is cruel. Baseball was cruel. Baseball is now profitable. Can we change the name to Taser Ball? I do like this. Consider it done. Super Taser Ball. Shocking news. Baseball is fun. Ah, the puns. GIF is now pronounced GIF. I need to know how the how the nation will handle this. I tried to draw a can of Natty Light, and all I got was a vandalized toilet. You know what? What the hell? All right, Jiffers, what do you got for me? You monster! Yes and yes! <laughs> Welcome to the New World Order. Your JPEGs are next. Will there be a grace period? Who's grace? One day, then death. You get 24 hours. Don't mess with my pictures. During your campaign, you promised to fight for the rights of all gifts. What happened? Was I, was I like drunk at the time? Because I don't remember promising this. Too many words or Z. <laughs> yes, please keep your questions under six letters long. Thank you. What is the future of the portable network graphic image? Lossless. Act like you understand the question. This is the very first thing that they teach you in President 101. British study finds monsters pronounce GIF GIF. Global warming will now be referred to as extra summer. <laughs> Welcome to Florida, bitch. Summer is now 12 months a year. Now everyone knows how I feel. When can we expect extra summer to take full effect? We have our best people on the job. <laughs> Top men, Jim. Once my Speedo is on. <laughs> will Greenland ever be green again? I think it should be orange. It's always been green. My wife went to Greenland. She said it was very gray, which I'm okay with, and also icy. But if it turned orange, I wouldn't be sad. But sir, our northern states will melt and disappear. You know what else will disappear? Spelling. Send rowboats to retrieve them. Yes, they will, Jim. The United States will be much easier to manage when there's less states. How long will the extra summer last? Forever. Until the scientists science better. This isn't going away. Deal with it. The senior community celebrates eternal summer. Of course they do. Well, everyone, our new United Republic of the People's Territories of States now has no sky, eternal summer, and police bears. And taser ball. Super taser ball. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of A Peace. Until next time, stay foxy and much love.